Welcome to A Quest For Metal. Today, we're going to talk about your worst albums from 2021, or your most disappointing. Now, I put up a poll, well, I put up a community post on the community tab, and you guys commented, and we're going to go through those comments and see what albums and bands you just didn't care for in 2021. What albums just made you fucking rage? What albums made you just go, I'm not mad, just disappointed. We're going to talk about those albums today, and it's all your guys' opinions, so we're going to do this with as little editing as we can, because I'm a lazy fucker. We're going to read them, and let's get started. So first up is Alfie665, who says, Based on the strength of the singles, I was hoping that the Gojira record would be better. I feel that Born for One Thing, Amazonia, and two of the best songs the band has written, as a bold statement, <laughs> um, and Into the Storm features some of Mario's most complex drumming yet. The album as a whole fell short of my expectations, but still excited to see them on tour. Okay. Now, there's a couple of other um, mentions for Gojira on here. It's one of the bands that people have mentioned a lot, the new album Fortitude. And I can kind of agree. When it first dropped, when Fortitude first dropped, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was, I thought it was pretty cool, pretty fresh and new, but then it kind of wore off after a week which is a very short time for an album to fucking wear off, and it really did. I still enjoy Magma. I still think that's underrated and overhated, so I fucking love that one. This one definitely just, it just fell flat, in my opinion. I Again, I love Amazonia. Bloody Amazonia. Born for One Thing's cool. Um, The rest of it? Hmm. Yeah, I can kind of see your point, so I kind of agree with this one, and a lot of other people agreed as well. Um, While we're doing this video... Anyone who didn't comment on the community post, pop down below what you feel about these bands and these albums as well. So let's move on. Next up, Juan or Juan Romero, um, who says, Iron Maiden Sinjitsu. Not a big fan of Maiden, but appreciates them, especially the early albums. But the new one's just boring, repetitive. It doesn't know how people go so nuts about it. Now, there's a lot of other people um, saying that Maiden Sinjitsu is one of the worst, most disappointing albums of the year. Of course, I fucking disagree on this one because it was one of my favourites of the year so far. I love uh, Longer Maiden. I don't want to say Proggy Maiden because people get fucking... Me, it's not Proggy, it's just long. Uh, fuck you. I love it. I think Senjutsu is great. It's probably my favourite album since Dance of Death. Probably my favourite album since Dance of Death. Um, Hell on Earth is a fucking masterpiece. Parchment's fucking masterpiece. Yeah, uh, I've shilled this album enough, but it's time for your guys' opinions. And a lot of you didn't like the album. You said it was too meandering, too plodding, too long. You liked the short, faster, punkier Maiden of the Diano era. The short, faster, melodic Maiden from the Bruce era, like Power Slave and Peace of Mind. Um, but this kind of newer Maiden kind of isn't the right style or substance for some people, and that's fair enough. It is for me, I fucking love it, but for some people, it's not. Now, someone else saying Gojira, Mephaeus, um, Skeleboob, Skeleboob, says Sermons of the Sinner by KK Downing was a big letdown. Some fantastic solos, the riffs and songwriting just didn't cut it. Now, I, I listened to this album, and I didn't think it was amazing, but I didn't think it was disappointing or terrible in any way. I thought it was a pretty enjoyable album, so I'll disagree on that one. KK Downing's album was fine. It wasn't spectacular, but it was fine. So now Forkhead <laughs> said there was three. Those are Ginger Wallflowers, Poppy Flux, and Alien Weaponry, Tangaroa. Now, I listened to two of those albums. I listened to Ginger and Alien Weaponry. I didn't listen to Poppy because I don't really like Poppy. Um, so I wasn't really disappointed with the new one because I don't fucking like her anyway. Um, Alien Weaponry's album was a bit disappointing compared to the first one. Yeah, I can agree with that. It was cool, but it was just kind of too long. It was too long for that one. Um, Ginger's one, I actually prefer Wallflowers to Macro, if I'm being honest. I really loved Micro. Macro disappointed me. Wallflowers didn't. So I'm kind of on the weird anomaly where this one was good. Macro was okay for me. Uh, people will probably disagree with that, but fuck you. Bugger Boy is defending Maiden. Got 16 likes. Good man, Bugger Boy. <laughs> I love that album too, Bugger Boy. Um, Dorian L. Oh my god. Iron Maiden wasn't disappointing because their last good album was in 2001. Fucking burn! Yeah, I agree to disagree. 
Um, another one for Fortitude. Um, another one for Alien Weaponry. Um, Mateus says Ginger Wallflowers lacks memorability. Uh, and another one for Alien Weaponry. There's a lot of the same bands, a lot of the same albums cropping up through all these comments. Wastelander101 says not necessarily bad, but Aberim, Zasfa, Moonspell, Gojira, and Portal were disappointments. Now, hmm, I agree with Gojira. I agree with Zasfa, because everything after the black metal era, not really big fan of. It's too weird. Too fucking weird. Don't think, I don't, I think I heard Aberim, but I don't remember it. Don't remember it, so I can't comment. Um, Moonspell was okay, I didn't love it, so kind of agree with Moonspell. Portal, I fucking disagree. Portal was amazing. Avow was fucking amazing. Um, the other one, the kind of dissonant one, well, the more noise like album, Habalubadabadal, Habal uh, whatever it was called. Of, co of course, if you listen to that by itself, it's not that good. Listen to it with the other one, together, at the same fucking time. It's hellish, it's insane, it makes you just want to, like, jump into a vortex of hell. And I loved it. So I really enjoyed Portal's new album, so I fucking disagree with you there. Um, Zach D says, Fear Factory's newest album. It's good, but so forgettable. You know what? Again, I disagree. I really enjoyed Fear Factory's new album. I thought it was fun. Granted, it's the first Fear Factory album I've ever fucking heard. So it's fresh and new. Because um, I was never... I didn't get onto the Fear Factory hype train. I was just avoided them. But this is the first one I actually dived into. And I actually enjoyed it. So maybe it's bad compared to the others. I've only heard two albums now. So I'll go back and listen to the others. They, they seem good. Zach Evans says the devil wears Prada. Has nothing to do with the zombie EP. It wasn't heavy at all. And the vocals sucked pee pee. I'll not heard it, so <laughs> I'll just agree with you. Astolafo, the Brider of Black, <laughs> says The Bitter Truth by Evanescence. A lot of people don't like that one. I thought it was fine. The production was shit. But the album's fine. Flux by Poppy. Don't like her. Warflower by Ginger. I think it's good. You're Welcome by A Day to Remember. Ugh. Yeah, that one's not that good. The Silver Scream 2, Welcome to Horrorwood. The title alone makes me cringe. I really enjoyed that album, actually. I fucking liked that album. Loads of people said it was cringy, like Metal Meltdown Trenches, and I was like, oh shit, I'm dreading it. Listen to it. It was well fun. It was such a fun album. Like, the the whole Chucky song was amazing. Like, na 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 fuck you! It's like my kind of humour, so... Yeah. I mean, I like Ale Storm. I like Death Clock. I like Ice Nine Kills. It was fun. And the Huey Lewis and the News thing, oh, amazing. Loved it. Um, I liked it better than the new Dream Theater. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Chemical Warfare by Escape the Fate. Eee. Baptized by Atreyu. Loads of people hated Atreyu. Colostorm by Slaughter to Prevail. That one was disappointing. I'll agree with you. Uh, from the single, Babiago, we were expecting something crazy. It was okay. Um, and Metal's Black by Dungeon Wolf. It might be the five worst albums of all time, right next to the Nostalgia Critics The Wall and Torch the Faith. Holy crap. Holy crap. Now that's some big accusations. I can't agree nor disagree because I've never heard of it, but there is some other people saying the same thing. So Metal's Black by Metal's Back, sorry, by Dungeon Wolf. Go check it out. Uh, and I'll check it out after this video too, and we'll see what the hype is about. We'll see if it's as bad as you say. Michael McVitie says Rob Zombie. Never turned to this Rob Zombie album off before, no matter how laughably bad they got. But this was just boring. Yeah, the most offensive thing an album can do is be boring. It's okay if it's laughably bad, but when it's boring, it's just, you know, it's just mind-numbing. The Room is fun, but like a boring movie? Pfft, get the fuck out of here. So what else we got? Another one for Gujira. Uh, Dashi says something's fucking stupid. <laughs> Sorry, Dashi. My opinion, disappointing album is a new Dark Room. Got bored of it after song three. I really enjoyed the new Dark Throne album. It was very doomy. Sure, if you don't like Doom, you might not like it. Um, but I really enjoyed the new Dark Throne. I think it was pretty good. Wasn't as good as Old Star. Wasn't as catchy, but fuck it. It was a good album. I thought it was good. Orizeu says something that I cannot pronounce. Dozanjos heterogeneous heratic asparagus. <laughs> pretty sure that doesn't say asparagus, but fuck it. There's too many words. Too many letters. Yeah, don't know what any of that is, but I'll take your word for it. Um, so Spooky Bones is... 
probably Halloween, because I didn't like it anywhere close to what I'd hoped. The new fucking Halloween, one of the most surprising albums of the year. Three fucking singers, all the original members back. Come on. It was an amazing album. Amazing. Just a Metal Nerd is Closure by Attila. I know Attila's bad, so I'm no, not even going to fucking listen to that. Ice Nine Kills, someone else says. Ugh. I like that album. It's fun. People need to, like, take the stick out of your ass. Take the stick out the ass. It's a good album. Live a little. Jacob Smith says, Dark Throne again? What the fuck? Really? He said, is it the same as Old Star? Uh, it's nothing like Old Star. Old Star's like more more catchy, more riffy. This one is definitely more doomy and depressing. Um, I do prefer Old Star and I do prefer Arctic Thunder, but Eternal Hails was still good. It's still good. Um, Zigato Zig Zigatina, Zigatina says the stupidest comment in the whole fucking thread because they just say carcass. Just Carcass. And I'm pretty sure almost everyone's going to fucking agree with me that Torn Arteries is one of the best albums of the year and it's easily going to be in my top 10 albums of the year. Torn Arteries is a fucking masterpiece of an album. I love that album and it's my favourite Carcass album now. Uh, so fuck you. <laughs> nah, it's cool. It's cool to have different tastes, you know. But yours is wrong. Now, more Ice Nine Kills. Blackwater Rust, the legend himself. Says Atreyu, A Day to Remember, Dungeon Wolf, Iron Maiden, a lot of stuff we've heard before. Sleep Token, that's a new one. Um, is that just because of the fans or is that because you've actually listened to it? Because the fans were obnoxious, but the album itself was fine. It's a bit bland, boring, but it was fine, so I don't mind that. Ministry, ugh. Abarim, another one for that. Evanescence and Tougher Than Nails, did that come out this year? I, I know I did it this year, but I don't know if it came out this year, but if it did, then fuck that album. Um, Senjutsu, Greta Van Fleet, for some reason. Iron Maiden, Senjutsu, Senjutsu, Iron Maiden, Iron Maiden, and Rivers of Nile. Holy crap, that's just like a big, a big, just fucking Maiden, 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 Maiden. Of course I disagree with that, but it's all in the name of fun. This is just your guys' opinions on the most disappointing albums and the worst albums of 2021. So, that was some fun. We should do more community posts like that, read some more comments, let me know down below what's your favourite album from this year. Some more positivity. And also, what albums disappointed you? What albums, just like these guys, what albums disappointed you? Doesn't matter if it's my favourite album. Doesn't matter who you piss off. Fucking say it. Say whatever the fuck you want. It's a free space here. You say whatever the fuck you want. Uh, so yeah, let me know down below. And we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.